Hello Warriors and welcome back to WHS TV. I'm your host Nina Shigitz. And I'm your host Nora Rabinasser. In this volume, a group of WHS students take us underground to celebrate a quadrennial occasion. Next, we'll introduce you to a WHS teacher who's doing more than just adopting furry friends. And in our final segment, a WHS student will show us the unique way he utilizes the video game club to prepare for an upcoming Super Smash Bros. tournament. Stick around for more on this volume of WHS TV. Hey Nina, isn't tomorrow the first day of March? No Nora, we're still in February because tomorrow's Leap Day. A few WHS students wanted to celebrate Leap Day in an inventive way. Leap Day is a reoccurrence of the 29th day in February every four years. This is because the Earth takes 365 days and six hours to rotate around the sun and Leap Day gives us that time to smooth out the calendar and line things back up. This was introduced over 2,000 years ago by the Roman general Julius Caesar, and his only one rule was that any year divisible by four will be a leap year, which brings us to 2020, the next leap year. A way to seal up all things that 2020 has presented us so far and with the 2019 and 2020 school year. We are capturing time to save these memories for the class of 2024, but will be open to any later class that stumbles upon our capsule in the far future. Signifying our homecoming and snowball kings and queens, political attributes, most common apps, award-winning movies, and fashion of today. Even though in 2024 some things may not change or be a whole lot different, the memories will still be cherished and remembered by the class of 2020. I think making that capsule was a great idea. Class of 2024, you have something to look forward to. I think so too. You know what else is a great idea? What? A teacher here at WHS came up with the idea to collect donations to help the local animal shelter. She came up with a simple way to make a huge difference and she wants to get the rest of WHS involved. The Woodhaven, Trenton, and Dearborn Animal Shelter locations are currently in need of donations for their pet population. WHS teacher Ms. Munch has piloted a program at the high school to help our local furry friends. I'm collecting uh, items that animal shelters are in need of. Anything from towels and puppy pads and, uh, you know, cat food, dog food, toys, also cleaning products that they can use to help clean up the shelters. Ms. Muncha has been holding this item drive for three weeks now and has gotten no donations. There are about 1,200 students that attend WHS. If everyone brought in one thing, it can make a big difference. Need help because they don't get a lot of money, a lot of donations. So anything that they can use will help. Ms. Munshaw has a personal connection to the animal shelter and needs your help to help those in need. I'm an animal lover and I just know that they always have a need. And I thought nobody else in the high school is doing anything like this. So it's a niche that I can fill. Adopting is important because the shelter population is constantly rising and falling. Donating to shelters can keep these animals healthy and eligible to find a new home. My first uh, pet that I had was a cat, and I got him from a shelter. He was actually scheduled to be euthanized because he'd been there and nobody wanted him. And then come to find out he had uh, like kitty AIDS, which was one reason why nobody wanted him, but he was perfectly healthy. You can make a change in more than life, animal or human. Because it's something that you can do that is contributing to the community and helping people do a good thing by keeping these animals safe and healthy until they find their forever home. For Tiana Wadi, this is Justin Evers reporting for WHS TV. Who doesn't love animals? What an easy way to make a difference. Her efforts won't be effective unless she receives contributions. If you want to help make a difference in the lives of these animals, you can bring your donations to Miss Munchell's room. Anything helps. 
Speaking of being helpful, a student here was able to use the video game club to his advantage while preparing for upcoming tournaments. Smash is a fast-paced fighting game by Nintendo where players play against one another with three lives in a fight to be the last one standing. Ivan Guzman is a competitive Smash player who uses the video game club as a training ground for his Smash career. I have yet to win a tournament, but I did score 17th out of 95 entries, so I feel like that's pretty good for my third tournament. Ivan doesn't take a loss for an answer, and sometimes you have to look to the pros for advice. And I've just been looking at online resources. I've been looking at uh, top players, some players like MKLeo, uh, Nairo. Training for pros is surprisingly similar to casual players or even players looking into starting their Smash career. The one advice I would give to someone that's starting out is, uh, for Smash is to not really give up. Uh, I would say just to practice whenever you can. Play against people who have similar skill levels to you and just always seek out information. Overall, Ivan enjoys the video game club and the experiences he's had with it. He's been able to train a lot by battling other Smash players and learning their individual styles. To join the video game club, the only reason why I would say is just to have fun. That's really it. There's nothing too important. You can just bring in whatever you want and then just play it and just see what, uh, see others and, you know, have them join you. For Kane Lorraine and Shane Maher, this is Colin Jasinski reporting for WHS TV. Good luck to Ivan in his upcoming Super Smash Bros. tournament. Thanks for tuning in today, Warriors. I'm Nina Shigitz. And I'm Nora Robinoster. Come join us next week for another episode of WHS TV.